Hey y'all, so we're gonna pick up again talking about Elizabeth and Zachariah. And so I wanna read a little bit more of the scripture. Today we're gonna get into his visit with the angel and I'm excited to get into this. Um, so we, if we go to Luke 1, and we, we, we have read, um, let's start in verse 5. So in the days when Herod was king of Judea, there was a certain priest named Zechariah of the daily service, the division of Abia. And his wife was also a descendant of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous in the sight of God, walking blamelessly in all the commandments and requirements of the Lord. But they had no child, for Elizabeth was barren, and both were far advanced in years. Now, while on duty, while on duty serving as a priest before God in the order of his division, as was the custom of the priesthood, it fell to him by the lot to enter the sanctuary of the temple of the Lord and burn the incense. And all the throng of people were praying outside in the court at the hour of incense. <coughs> Excuse me. Verse 11. And there appeared to him an angel of the Lord, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. <coughs> and when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled, and fear took possession of him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your petition was heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you must call his name John. God is favorable. And you shall have joy and exultant delight, and many will rejoice over his birth. For he will be great and distinguished in the sight of the Lord. And he must drink no wine nor strong drink, and he will be filled with and controlled by the Holy Spirit, even in and from his mother's womb. And he will turn back and cause to he will turn back and cause to return many of the sons of Israel to the Lord their God. And he will himself go before him, Jesus, in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn back the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient and the incredulous and unpersuadable to the wisdom of the upright, which is the knowledge and the holy love of the will of God, in order to make ready for the Lord a people perfectly prepared in spirit, adjusted and disposed and placed in a right moral state. Here's what I want to really get you to see today. And Zechariah said to the angel, Stop. I cannot, 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 cannot tell you the importance of first response. Your first response is the epic importance and magnitude. The weight of your response, your first response, to a word from God, to a situation that you face, first response is of epic proportions. And so here we have Zechariah, who is a righteous man, a man of God, a priest. He walks in the commandments and the requirements of the Lord. He is righteous in the sight of God. He is well-versed and well-trained in the history of the Jewish people. He knows of all of the miraculous stories of Abraham and Moses and Daniel and Joseph and Gideon. Any, any magnificent display of God's power that had ever happened, Zechariah knew it. He knew it. But when the angel of the Lord came to him, giving him news of a miracle that was going to take place in his life, Zechariah said, By what shall I know and be sure of this? For I am an old man, and my wife is well advanced in years. Zechariah, who knew all the things God had done, said, how, how do I know this? How do I know this for sure? For I'm old and so is my wife. First response. It wasn't excitement. It wasn't, oh, God has heard my prayer, as Gabriel said 
in verse 13 of chapter 1, he said, Do not be afraid because your petition was heard. And your wife will bear you a son. It wasn't any of that. It was, how will I know and be sure of this? Because I'm old and so is my wife. And do you know what Gabriel said next? And the angel replied to him, I am Gabriel, an angel, Gabriel, and I stand in the very presence of God, and I have been sent to talk to you, to bring you this good news. Now behold, you will be and will continue to be silent and not be able to speak until the day when these things take place, because you have not believed what I told you, but my words are of a kind which will be fulfilled in the appointed and proper time. So I just, I'm going to leave you with that today and we'll pick up here again tomorrow. But the importance of first response. First response. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.